Good day, everyone. My name is King Joshua Oligario Milagrosa, a BSc student at Nueva Ecija University of Science and Technology. So today, I will be discussing to you two sample problems about compression members. So for our sample problem number one, so a W8 by 35 steel column has an unsupported length of 8 meter using A36 steel. Compute for the ultimate A shell load capacity PU. So for A, if both ends are fixed and for letter B, if both ends are pinned. So given the W8 by 35 properties, so yung area is equal to 6,645.15 mm squared Yung inertia sa x is equal to 52.45 times 10 raised to 6 and m raised to 4. Inertia sa y is equal to 17.69 mm raised to 4. And yung radius of gyration natin sa x is equal to 88.9 mm. Then yung radius of gyration sa y is equal to 51.56 mm. So yung other given data natin is, is yung Fy which is 248 MPa, yung E which is 200,000 MPa, and yung length nga natin 8 meter or is equal siya sa 8,000 millimeter. So since yung column natin is symmetrical or wala siyang lateral support, so ang gagamitin nating radius of gyration is yung R minimum which is yung uh, itong RY na 51.56 so dito tayo mag-govern dito tayo mag-govern para complete yung slenderness ratio so so for our solution letter A if both ends are fixed so uh, kunin natin yung governing slenderness ratio niya yung, or yung SR which is Yung formula is KL over RY na kung saan yung K kapag fix is equal to 0 0.5. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value. So, KL over RY is equal to 0 0.5 multiplied by 8,000 over 51.56. So, makukuha natin yung value ng uh, slenderness ratio na 77.58. So, after that, kunin naman natin yung critical slenderness ratio. Then, for CC is equal to 4.71 multiplied by the square root of E over FY. So, substitute the value, makukuha natin yung value ni critical slenderness ratio na 133.76. So, since yung SR natin is mas maliit kaysa sa CC, so, therefore, ang gagamitin natin flexural buckling stress is FCR is equal to 0 0.658 uh, raised to FY over FE. Multiply lang natin sa may value ni FY. So, since hindi pa natin alam yung value ni FE o yung elastic critical buckling stress, so gagamitin natin or isosol muna natin siya using this formula. So, FE is equal to pi squared E all over the squared of uh, our slenderness ratio which is yung KL over R. So by substituting, magkukuha natin na yung Fe is equal to 327.971 MPa. So since nakuha na natin yung value ni Fe, pwede na natin ngayon makuha yung value ni FCR or yung flexural buckling stress natin. So, by substituting, so, FCR is equal to 0 0.658 uh, raised to 248 over 327.971. Then, multiply natin sa value ni FY, which is 248. So, by that, makukuha natin yung value ni FCR na 180.718 uh, MPa. So, since meron na tayong FCR, ngayon naman, makukuha na din natin si nominal compressive strength, which is yung PN is equal to uh, gross area 
multiply by the FCR which is ito nga yung nakuha natin kanina. So substituting the value, so 6,645.15, multiply lang natin sa 180.718, makukuha natin yung nominal compressive strength natin na 1,200.898 kN. So since meron na tayong value ni PN, so makukuha na natin yung required sa given. I mean, yung required sa problem na ultimate Asian load capacity uh, or yung L uh, or yung PU or LF LRFD. So dito, ang formula ang gagamitin natin according to uh, NSCB 2015 is yung PU or ultimate Asian load capacity is equal dun sa may um, slenderness uh, reduction factor multiply lang natin dun sa may uh, PN which is yung reduction factor natin is equal dun sa 0.90 so by substituting uh, PU is equal to 0.90 multiply natin sa PN which is 1,200.898 kN so makukuha na natin yung required sa problem which is yung PU natin is equal to 1080.80 kN. So, ito na yung sagot natin para sa letter A na both and uh, are fixed. So, punta naman tayo sa may uh, letter B. Kapag naman daw yung both and are pinned. So, ganun lang din. Same process. Kunin muna natin yung governing slenderness ratio niya, which is KL over RY. So, dito naman, since pinned na siya, so, ang gagamitin na nating value ni K is 1 na kasi buo na siya. So, by substituting, makukuha natin na yung value ni governing slenderness ratio is 155.59 uh, or 155.159 Then, after that, kunin naman natin si critical slenderness ratio para mapag-compare natin silang dalawa. So, CC is equal to 4.71 Multiply lang ulit natin sa E square root ng E over FY So, makukuha na natin yung critical slenderness ratio na 133.76 So, in this case naman, since mas malaki na ngayon si SR kesa kay CC. So, ang gagamitin na nating flexural buckling stress is F FCR is equal to 0 0.877 FE. So, since wala naman, na naman ulit tayong value na FE or na elastic buckling stress, so, kukumpitin lang din ulit natin sa using the same formula. So, by substituting, uh, magi makukuha natin na yung FE or yung flexural or, or I mean yung elastic buckling stress na FE is 81.993 MPa. So since may value na tayo ni FE, substitute lang natin dito sa uh, pinakang formula, then makukuha na natin sa FCR. So FCR is equal to 0 0.877, multiply lang natin sa uh, 81.993. So makukuha natin na yung FCR is equal dun sa may 71.908 MPa. So, since may FCR na din tayo, pwede na din makuha natin yung nominal compressive strength, which is Pn is equal to gross area multiplied by the flexural buckling stress is equal siya sa 6,645.15 multiplied by 71.908. So, ang makukuha natin nominal compressive strength dito is uh, PN is equal to 477.839 kN. So, since may PN na tayo, so makukuha na ulit natin yung nire-required dito sa problem na ultimate Asian load capacity or yung LRFD natin na hinahanap. So, by using the formula PU is equal to reduction factor multiplied by PN which is again yung Reduction factor natin is equal to 0 0.90. So, by substituting, uh, magiging PU is equal to 0 0.90 multiply by 477.839. So, makukuha na natin yung PU natin or yung hinahanap natin ultimate Asian load capacity na 430.055 uh, kN. So, ito na yung 
uh, sagot natin ang hinahanap sa letter B which is uh, yung ultimate Asia load capacity kapag both ends are pinned. So, proceed tayo sa may another problem which is some Paul problem 2. So, dito naman, uh, sabi, calculate the ultimate Asia load capacity of the composite column. So, ito yung composite column natin shown. So, assume F prime C is equal to 21 MPA and FY is equal to 250 MPA for the W section. So, ito naman yung W section natin. Itong pa, parang pa letter I. So, W section still siya. So, given the uh, W14 by 211 properties, so ito yun, yung W section. So, yung weight daw is equal to 315 kg per meter. Then, yung area ng steel section daw is equal sa 40,000 uh, mm squared. Then, yung depth daw niya is uh, 399 mm. Then, yung inner siya sa X is equal to 1,107 times 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 then sa IY naman is equal to 429 times 10 raised to 6 mm raised to 4 so for our solution una muna natin kunin is yung area ng uh, concrete nung concrete lang na ito hindi kasama tong uh, W section so para makuha natin yan uh, imaminus ima lang natin yung area ni steel section dun sa kabo ang area ng uh, composite column na to or yung gross area ng column na to. So, since alam naman natin na yung area ng column, buong column na to or composite column na to is equal sa 480 by 480. So, eto. Then, minus natin sa may uh, 40,000 mm squared. So, bala, makukuha natin uh, uh, area ng concrete is equal to 190,000 400. So, for, ito yung for the area of concrete natin. So, ito lang yan. Guys. Ayan ah, lang siya. Hindi kasama yung W section. Yan lang siya. So, since may value na tayo or may area na tayo ng concrete, uh, pwede na natin masolve yung uh, nire-require dito sa may problem which is yung ultimate Asia load capacity. So, uh, according to NSCP 2015, so yung PU natin is equal to uh, reduction factor multiplied by uh, PN or the nominal compressive strength. Na kung saan, dito naman, yung reduction factor natin is equal to 0 0.65. Then yung uh, nominal compressive strength natin is equal siya sa 0 0.80 multiply natin sa product ng 0 0.85 uh, F prime C AC plus ASS FY. So, substitute lang natin yung mga value. So, bale, magiging PU is equal to 0 0.65 which is the reduction factor multiplied by PN which is 0 0.80 times the product of uh, 0 0.85 times 21 times 1,000 uh, 190,400 plus 40,000 times 250. So, by that, makukuha natin yung ating required na ultimate Asia load capacity na uh, equal sa 6,967.30 kN. So, bali, ito na yung uh, sagot natin na hinahanap sa problem number Two. So, yun lang guys. I hope uh, may natutunan kayo for today's video. So, thank you.